The province of Nueva Vizcaya is named after the people living in the coast of Mar de Vizcayan, of the Vizcayan province in Spain. A place of rolling hills and green plains, surrounded by majestic mountain ranges where cloud-covered heights, rainforests, and cave systems provide ideal settings for nature trips, trekking, and mountaineering to challenge any adventurous spirit. Welcome to the naturally vibrant Nueva Vizcaya, where you find nature and all diverse cultures come together. From Manila, the Philippine capital city, air-conditioned bus lines travel daily, a six-hour, 260-kilometer journey to this hidden treasure of a province. After a comfortable ride passing through the zigzag roads of the Belete Pass, where Filipino and American soldiers gallantly fought against the Japanese during the World War II, they are now at the threshold of what is known as the Gateway to Cagayan Valley, the province of Nueva Vizcaya. The people of Nueva Vizcaya can trace their ancestry to more than eight indigenous ethnic groups who first came to the region thousands of years ago. The Gadangs, who originally lived in tree houses and identified by their dark colored skin. The term Gadang means carabao hide. The Ifugao, from rugged mountains who claim direct descent from Kabunyan, the deities of the sky world. The Izinai, who were good in agriculture and handicrafts. The Bukalot, known for their colorful attire, musical instruments, and were once feared because of their head-hunting practices. The Kalanguya, Kankanae, Ibaloi, Iwak, and Ikalahan tribes who share the same basic cultures as the Igorots, hard-working people who spend their time tending their upland farms and gardens with skills in handicrafts, making such as basketry and broom making. Then, in the late 1500s, the Spanish colonizers arrived in Luzon to slowly establish their missionary territory. In 1841, the politico-militar province of Nueva Vizcaya was created by a Spanish royal decree. But over a century, its overall size was slowly reduced by the carving out of new provinces by government. Isabella in 1865, Ifugao in 1908, and Quirino in 1971. Today, Nueva Vizcaya comprises 16% of the total land area in Region 2. While counted as only one congressional district, the province has 15 municipalities divided geographically into the North and the South districts. Municipalities in the North are Jadi, Bagabag, Villaverde, Solano, Ambagio, Bayombong, and Quezon, while municipalities in the South are Bambang, Casibu, Cayapa, Santa Fe, Aritao, Dupax del Norte, Dupax del Sur, and Alfonso Castañeda. With vast areas of forests, agricultural and grasslands in abundance, the main source of livelihood has always been agriculture. Nueva Vizcaya is sometimes referred to as a lowland Baguio because of its pleasant climate. The productivity in the main food crops of rice and corn has been greatly increased and local farmers earn more from their labor. Vizcaya oranges and mangoes are well-known products and travelers have become familiar with the Citrus Alley where stores offer varieties of citrus including seedless oranges, perante, pomelo, mangoes, melons, Washington navel, and satsuma. Local entrepreneurs also make good use of available local produce, such as coconut, to make buku pai, which is very popular with local residents as well as travelers who stop over at the well-known buku pai alley in Bagabag. Nueva Vizcaya abounds in natural tourist attraction. Mount Pulad National Park, accessible from Ambagyo Town, has terrain that gradually ascends to cold, mossy forests with rare flora and fauna. It is the country's second highest peak at 2,922 meters above sea level, a perfect ecotourism destination. 
Near Quezon Town, Mount Palali offers a visual treat for trekkers. At 1,705 meters above sea level, it contains a unique diversity of bonsai forests, wild orchid, and rare flowers. For spelunkers and adventurers, there is the Kapisan Cave System, the fifth longest cave system in the Philippines. Two hours by vehicle from the capital town with a subterranean river leading to the famed chambers of the lion in the lion caves. For casual trekking and swimming, you can go to Imugan Falls, a shallow catch basin of refreshing mountain springs, just a 30-minute walk from the Poblacion of Imugan, Santa Fe. For relaxed sightseeing, you can go on tours of religious and other man-made attractions. In Dupac del Sur, sightseers marvel at the well-preserved interiors of one of the biggest and oldest churches in northern Luzon, the St. Vincent Ferreira Church, constructed in the 16th century. It features a bell tower and an ecclesiastical museum. It has been declared as a national cultural treasure by the National Museum, representing Spanish colonial heritage. Beside it is one of the oldest acacia trees in Luzon, planted in 1880. In Bayombong, visit St. Dominic Cathedral, originally built in the 18th century. It has been raised by fire twice, yet rebuilt at the same site and is now the center of many Roman Catholic activities. Beside the cathedral is the former provincial capital, now transformed into the People's Museum. Here, you will find representative objects of old native culture like hunting gear, implements for cooking, costumes of indigenous peoples, and other ethnographic items. You can also go on picnics, camping trips, and walks at the Lower Magat Ecotourism Park in the town of Judi. A major project with the provincial administration, it is located within the 24,000 hectare of Lower Magat Forest Reserve. Here, you can truly hear the soothing sounds of nature, whether you're at a picnic hut in the middle of the grassy meadows or walking around the lake in fish pens. You may also book overnight stays at the main lodge or native cottages which is complete in amenities. The new Vizcaya capital complex is called Luneta of the North with picnic huts and man-made lagoon with colorful miniboats, well-maintained green lawns and trees lining pathways. For accommodations, there are many hotels and inns in Nueva Vizcaya. Most of these are in Solano, the commercial and business district, and Bayombong. The Department of Tourism accredited hotels, resorts, accommodation establishments are the following. Tourists can find homestays offered by hospitable families in Casibu, Ambagio, and Santa Fe. You can make inquiries through the official website of provincial government. That's at www.nuevaviscaya.gov.ph. Nueva Vizcaya is best presented by its people. Industrious and productive, hospitable to visitors, peace-loving and fun-loving. While there are many town fiestas throughout the year, the top event is the Grand Amungan Festival held every May. During fiestas, people have fun by street dancing, reenactment of indigenous people activities, preparing all kinds of exotic food, fireworks, and float competitions. Nueva Vizcaya welcomes all who come to visit our historical landmarks to explore the natural biodiversity and to see the coming together of diverse upland and lowland cultures. The Nova Vizcayanos are proud of their achievements in education, infrastructure, health care, peace and order, and natural resources development. Moving forward to new promising horizons to become a naturally vibrant Nueva Vizcaya, your nature and culture haven.